Is Cardano about to explode to the upside in the next few weeks? Guys, in this video, we're going to dive down into everything Cardano, everything from the technical analysis through to some of the recent press announcements from IOHK. Guys, as we get into this video, if you do find it useful and informative, hit that like button. I really do appreciate that. If you happen to be new to the channel, then why not go ahead and subscribe, tap that bell, select all notifications, and in doing so, you will be kept up to date with absolutely everything that we do here at cheeky crypto right let's kick things off guys by just obviously acknowledging that the smart contracts have now actually launched onto the mainnet many of you guys are already familiar with this i have seen a lot of comments saying that basically after the news of smart contracts we saw a massive pullback that was pretty much courtesy of the month of september the self-fulfilling prophecy that is expecting a pullback and then actually making it happen ourselves of course as we go deeper than that we also saw some fantastic partnerships announced at the cardano summit 2021 and i'll get into more of those on uh, at least in a moment and um, the next thing i want to acknowledge is about those smart contracts though obviously with the smart contracts going live on the main net we're going to see a flurry of new projects launching on the ecosystem these are already being built in the background now with that smart contract functionality and it's only a really a matter of a few weeks to maybe a month or so before we actually start seeing a lot of these projects launching on the ecosystem and really going absolutely crazy and um, obviously alongside with all those new projects you do end up with a flurry as well of uh, of projects that are already in existence operating on the ethereum mainnet looking to migrate over to a cheaper faster more secure blockchain environment such as cardano and i've been quite vocal about this in the past talking about how ethereum has got the sharks circling we've got cardano polkadot algorand solana right a whole host of other cheaper more secure scalable solutions to ethereum and people companies that are basically operating and people who are running their businesses on ethereum should be considering other alternatives to safeguard against those up and coming gas fees that are on the rise steadily now so overall i do anticipate a huge migration and here we obviously have some fantastic news that came way back I think in March, where over 100 companies are looking to shift from Ethereum to the Cardano ecosystem. And I can bet you that, guys, that this is already in progress in the background. So we're going to start seeing not only a flurry of new projects that are being built for Cardano, but a whole host of projects and companies looking to migrate over from the Ethereum ecosystem to the Cardano ecosystem. Now, this is important, not just because it means that there's going to be dApps built on the Cardano ecosystem as a whole, but basically there's going to be an increase in transactional volume. We can also see that the validators with Cardano are on the rise, getting closer and closer to the 1 million level, and um, which is a huge level of decentralization for a blockchain um, such as Cardano. So overall, we're going to see not only uh, a huge spike in terms of transactional volume, which basically means that aid is going to also move in line with that transaction. And um, we've got a huge amount of delegators, loads of ADA actually out of circulating supply being delegated. So there's a squeeze on the supply and we're going to start seeing a demand for ADA to pay for those transactions, right? So we're going to start seeing not only a huge spike with uh, with Cardano's ADA, um, but I think actually one that's going to represent a parabolic move later in the year everything is lining up quite nicely so i hope this one this particular piece of news often gets forgotten about right but there are of course 100 companies that are looking to shift from the ethereum to um cardano and i think that's going to be absolutely massive it's going to compound the issue for the supply and demand that there currently is for ada and of course we can go a little bit further beyond this obviously earlier in the year we did see uh, the ethiopian government partner up with cardano to provide 5 million students and teachers with digital IDs on the Cardano ecosystem. Again, this is all about the transactional volume, right? We don't say that this is a big deal. It is absolutely huge in terms of mass adoption. Uh, there's been very few projects that have anywhere near this kind of level of adoption. Um, so basically, we have Cardano now not only looking at actually running dApps on the ecosystem, new and old, um, from brand new built for Cardano through to, from Ethereum migrating to Cardano, but we also have governmental contracts that are basically seeing mass adoption for the Cardano ecosystem as a whole. Now, this um, plan uh, for Ethiopia is, is supposed to roll out in the new year, right? So um, again, this ties into something else I'm going to get into in a moment, but basically 5 million um, students and teachers added to the Cardano blockchain. And again, this is going to increase that transactional volume uh, every time someone interacts with the ecosystem. And again, uh, that is absolutely massive, right? 
the fees for Cardano are absolutely small, okay? So it's not going to move the needle massively if there's only a small amount of adoption, but what we're seeing here is a mass adoption on the Cardano ecosystem as a whole. And when we jump over to the next part, we can obviously see that Cardano announced a partnership with Dish, right? Boost Mobile. Um, and this uh, happened just a couple of weeks ago at the Cardano Summit. This sees 8 million um, customers of Dish uh, actually get those digital IDs, those DIDs, so DIDs, right? Um, so 8 million. So we now have 5 million with Ethiopia, 8 million with Dish, right? That is a sum of 13 million people um, operating on the Cardano ecosystem. Again, it's a small, uh, you know, I guess drop in the ocean for the amount of people that are in the world, but this is a huge milestone that no other kind of um, blockchain technology ecosystem has even come anywhere near, right? So this is this is a pretty big deal. And again, this comes down to that transactional volume, uh, a new partnership, new level of adoption, new transactional volume that helps build in to the uh, evolution of ADA overall, right? So uh, again, that squeeze on the supply that we've spoken about, the amount of delegators, the amount of people who uh, are actually setting up validators now closing or getting closer to that million level from a validator point of view, the amount of people delegating, taking their supply of ADA out of circulation and actually getting it delegated to earn a nice passive income long term as well, because it's really important that we understand where we are today is actually super early in the Cardano world. And obviously things are heating up but imagine what we're going to be like in five or even 10 years from now. Uh, people with long-term vision uh, willing to actually hold ADA for a long period of time are getting that delegated, earning a nice passive income, earning more ADA uh, on your ADA holdings. And there's pretty much no risk associated with it. The only risks really when it comes to delegating it are, of course, the wallet that you're holding your Cardano in. Okay, but actually from delegating point of view, uh, you can withdraw your ADA. There's no lockup periods and it's... Um, pretty much risk-free. There's no cost associated with it. You'll only ever earn more ADA. Of course, just make sure that you're using a secure method to delegate. So obviously with Dish um, and a few other partnerships that were going on, we had Chainlink, obviously real-world data on the chain. All of these things, are, they think they seem small on their little uh, in their little silos in their islands, right? But together they make a collective whole, which makes a huge impact on the entire ecosystem and of course the price action of ADA as a whole. Um, so overall, very, very good stuff going going on, right? Everything from uh, working our way through all the different milestones and the eras within Cardano, obviously getting into uh, the smart contract era and basically building these decentralized applications on the Cardano ecosystem through to, of course, migrating existing systems over from Ethereum over into the Cardano ecosystem as well, which will have a huge impact, specifically if we're talking big players like Celsius, for example, migrating from Ethereum over to the Cardano ecosystem. They are one of the biggest players for the Ethereum ecosystem, paying millions upon millions of dollars in transactional volume um, in ETH uh, every single day. So it's important that we have to understand exactly what is going on with Ethereum and actually what actually makes up the Ethereum ecosystem from a transactional point of view and what also pays that or makes the, the transactional um, gas fees so high and I can bet that uh, Celsius is a huge part of that and um, so obviously if Celsius were to move and a whole host of other big players within the uh, Ethereum ecosystem to Cardano it would significantly change the dynamic both of the Cardano ecosystem but also of the Ethereum ecosystem so obviously that's just speculation of people have been speculating about um, you know the the Celsius application moving from Ethereum to Cardano for quite some time and I think it would make a lot of business sense to do so so it'll be interesting to see if that actually comes into fruition but obviously with all of this level of adoption for the Cardano there's something else that obviously absolutely has to happen and that has to be your scalability and here we obviously have the Hydra solution I've spoken about this a few times but this is basically um scalability that is baked into the Cardano development roadmap and this is Hydra now Hydra basically allows for one transaction uh, 1000 transactions per validator okay and per second so when we start thinking about scalability and we talk about you know whether you're a, a thousand transactions per second as a blockchain provider or 35 transactions per uh, per second per provider um, with cardano here the hydra solution aims to be that it will create 1000 transactions per second per validator as i said earlier in the video there's going to be close to a million validators right so 1 million times 1000 that is the level of scalability that you're looking to get from the cardano ecosystem the kind of scalability that is required if you're going to run governments on the blockchain okay if you talk about running 5 million 
um, you know, digital identifications um, for Ethiopia, or 8 million over for DISH in the US, right, and Boost Mobile. Um, that kind of level of adoption requires a huge transactional throughput. And obviously with that has to be the Hydra solution. We're looking forward to the prototype of Hydra later this year. Um, and I'm hoping that Cardano is still on track to deliver that. Um, but obviously this is a scalability solution or layer two solution for Cardano that is absolutely critical in what they are trying to achieve, which of course is mass adoption. But of course we can go a little bit further than just that as well. Um, because also announced at the Cardano Summit was a um, mobile wallet to basically rule them all. And this basically is a new cell phone application that will be the first to simplify um, interaction with blockchain technology, providing a single place where users can vote on the future of blockchain platform, access cryptocurrency transactions, non-fungible tokens, those NFTs, and of course, digital identifications. Um, this improves on the current model where uh, those wishing to get involved in blockchain will need to uh, need, will need basically multiple wallets depending on their features that they want to access, which can even vary depending on the size of transactions that they want to carry out. This light wallet, if you will, will also solve the issue of internet connectivity um, by offering uh, access to offline features such as the availability to check balances and schedule payments. This uh, widens access to blockchain by allowing people to interact with their assets, even in developing nations where electricity and internet supplies can be intermittent. And so this particular trans uh, or wallet, I should say, is going to really open up the scope of everything and also helps and aids in, of course, that adoption that we've been talking about, right? It's great to have 5 million teachers and students get those digital IDs over in Ethiopia, 8 million digital IDs with Boost Mobile over in the States. But again, above and beyond all of this, if you want to be able to have one wallet where you can actually encourage mass adoption, ease of use, this seems to be what Cardano are working on in the background as well. So overall, everything's lining up quite nicely. Now, obviously, we're talking about is there going to be a breakout for Cardano? and specifically the price action of ADA, we have to consider all of this information, all of this information, and then go into our charts, okay? From our charts, we can then dive down and take a look overall at what's been going on most recently and where we think things are likely to go next. Obviously, we have got these five impulse waves that started back in March of 2020, okay? And basically, we've started to see a pretty good surge to the upside most recently. A bit stagnant, a sideways trade around here, specifically after we saw a bit of a pullback for the month of September. Again, that self-fulfilling prophecy and um, once we get past september which we have done we started to see a bit of a push to the upside but we have also been kind of linked to what bitcoin is doing right now um, but i do anticipate in the next few weeks we're going to get a huge surge to the upside once those projects start launching on the ecosystem that transactional volume starts building there's going to be very little to stop cardano's price action and i do anticipate us moving up at, to at least seven dollars 22 and maybe even pushing for that ten dollar range some of these uh, data here uh, is basically only really looking at speculation we haven't yet seen what that transactional volume is likely to do to this ecosystem all we have to do is take a look at something like matic to understand what the power of transactional volume actually has on an ecosystem and overall uh, we've seen matic do some absolutely crazy numbers once it started to get some serious level of adoption once this ethereum gas fees got too unmanageable for many businesses so right now cardano is in a pretty good area just above its 786 area on the chart and uh, we are looking to get some pretty good traction above that two dollars 15 cent heading up towards our next levels if i jump down into our daily and what I can do is actually show you what those levels are. Okay, so as we come down here, we can see that we're just resting on our $2.15 uh, cent support level. This is an area that we've been trading sideways for the last few days. Just waiting, biding our time, ready for that next move to the upside. We can see that the first target comes in at $3.37. Our cup and handle um, target is $4.45. And our 2.618 comes in at $4.85. The 3.618 is a $6.32 $6.32 and our 4.236 extension comes in at $7.22. Okay, so overall, everything's looking pretty good from a cup and handle perspective, looking for a good surge to the upside. $4.45 is that target. And again, we could even overextend towards that $10 range once that transactional volume starts hitting the ecosystem. As a whole, I'm incredibly bullish on Cardano and I am definitely not selling my ADA at a discounted rate. Guys, I'm gonna leave the video there, but hopefully you have found this useful, insightful and informative in some way. If you have hit that like button, I really do appreciate that. If you happen to be new to the channel, then why not go ahead and subscribe 
subscribe, tap that bell, select all notifications, and in doing so, you will be kept up to date with absolutely everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. With this said, done, and out of the way, I hope everyone has a fantastic day, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Thank you.